Here's what I want to talk about tonight. The blood and the anointing. The blood and the anointing. I'm going to show you some things here in just a moment. But before I do, I'm going to share the dream that a prophet friend of mine had that launched this whole thing. This is like the seventh Mantles conference that we've done. I mean, we've had tremendous experiences and visitations in God. I remember the second one we did, it was going to be in Waco, Texas. And two weeks before I had that, before we did that Mantles conference, I had this dream. And in the dream, I was told that the mantles of John Wimber and Charles and Francis Hunter would be imparted in that conference. Now, I, I, mean, I, I don't think about that. I wasn't considering this, but as I began to consider, I thought, well, you know, Charles, John Wimber and Charles and Francis Hunter, they were completely different in the way they did healing. But they had one thing in common. They were all about equipping God's people to move in that realm. That's what they were all about. And the Lord told me. So I went into that gathering thinking, okay, God's going to impart that to some of his people. And, that, and it probably did happen. But here's what really happened that I know about. I received those mantles. That as I was ministering, all of a sudden, the healing realm and the miraculous realm started going to a whole other dimension. And the only thing I can chalk it up to is that somehow or another I received a mixture of John Wimber and Charles and Francis Hunter's mantles that we have began to operate in. So if you need healing tonight, I want you to know what probably before this is over, we're going to release that. And we're watching some phenomenal we were just talking about it in the back in the in the in the room earlier some of the things that are happening because in one of the mantles conferences this was received. Now, let me talk to you about the dream that was had that launched these mantle conferences. I didn't just get up one morning and decide, you know, I think I'm going to have mantle conferences. I literally I was it was it was in May of 2021, a prophet friend of mine had a dream. And I remembered I was at home on a Friday night with Mary, my wife, and all of a sudden, he texted me this dream. Hadn't talked to him in forever. And this was the dream. The dream opened with you and I, he says, sitting at this old style diner eating breakfast. I can see the tables and the plates on it. There was an old style jukebox there, the kind that hung on the table walls. Now, I'm looking at this room, and some of y'all are old enough to remember those. Okay, watch. He said, as we ate, as I and this prophet friend were, we were eating, we were talking about mantles. I was sharing with you that my grandfather and my father had passed away. He said, my dad really had passed away just recently. And that in a dream... The Holy Spirit had mantled me with their mantles. As I was sharing this with you, a man walked up to our table. He was the manager of the diner. He said to us, gentlemen, I have a dilemma that I know you will help me with. He went on to say, look over in the corner at that coat rack. There are so many coats that have been left here that I can't get to the rightful owners. He said, these are not the old owners but the new ones. He said, come with me. He said, my friend said, we got up from the table and followed him out the front door. As we exited the diner with this man, we were instantly in heaven. Now, here's what I understand. We were in the heavenly realm. Okay, I'm probably not in heaven where you go after you die, but in a heavenly realm, a dimension of the spirit. He said, we were in heaven. This man was actually an angel. He walked us through a portion of the building there in this realm that led us to a closet which was the size of a football field that was full of so many coats, robes, capes, suit-type coats, and jacket. He said these coats, watch, had all types of logos on them. What does that mean? Probably logos of the ministries that had carried those mantles. He said they had all sorts of logos on them. And he said, and were 
every color and size you could imagine. They were also, this is quite interesting, arranged according to the seven mountains of influence. So, so watch, what do we do? We're not just going to receive mantles to function in church. We're going to receive mantles to function on a kingdom level in the marketplace. Listen, we're not going to change the marketplace out of our good ideas. We're going to change the marketplace because we've been mantled of God that we're able to fulfill the assignment that God has given us. So he said they were arranged according to the seven mountains of culture. He said they were also, uh, he, he said to us, that the angel said, each coat has on its left lapel a dial. It had numbers on them that went from one to a hundred. Now watch this. The gauges determined at what power level the mantle operated. What we have seen happen in the mantles conferences is not always somebody receiving a new mantle, but the gauge on the mantle they carry being turned up so that they begin to operate in that mantle on an entirely different new power level. That'd be okay. He said the coats also had names written in the collar of each one. Some had many names. In other words, many people had carried that mantle. Some had only a few names. But then it says some had only one name. In other words, some mantles were so unique and so significant that only one had carried that mantle. That God was also wanting to dispense them as well. As he was speaking to us, Another angel walked up to the angel speaking with us and handed the angel that was talking to us, handed him a scroll. He opened the scroll and he read it to himself. I mean, this is a very detailed dream. He then handed it to me, the prophet friend said, and he said, declare this word of the Lord over Robert. He then said to you, Robert, as he does, you're going to help me empty out this warehouse of mantles. You and I both notice his words. He used the word mantles, not coats. He said, I then took the open scroll, the prophet friend said, and began to declare it over you. Now, watch this. When I looked at you, I saw that you were dressed like a tailor with a measuring tape in your hand. Why? Because watch, you got to understand this. We don't, we don't tailor the mantle to fit us, we are tailored to fit the mantle. God changes us to be able to carry the mantle. He doesn't change the mantle for us. He changes us to fit the mantle. That's what the five-fold ministry gift is for. To tailor us, to measure us, to get us ready to carry the mantle that we've been assigned to and has been assigned to us. He said, you were dressed like a tailor. He said, I declare to you, Robert, you, Robert Henderson, have been assigned by the Father to bring his people into their mantles. You and your company of tailors. In other words, there would be people that would be joining me. Will measure and fit from my closet mantles that have been laid down and never picked up. You will find many that are wandering through life without meaning and purpose. You and your company of tailors will fit them. You will write again of my mantles or of my courts and how mantles are released from there. He didn't know when he said that, that I was already asked to write a book on mantles from the court of heaven. Here it is. That is the book that came. Destiny Image immediately said, we want you to write a book on how to receive mantles from the court of heaven. It says, the Lord says over you, this is the great activation and release of my people in the nation of the United States of America. There are some who will find their portion and many that will discover their double portion. 
after declaring over you, he said, I rolled up the scroll and placed it in the right inside pocket of your coat. He said, we, we then turned and walked from the warehouse with the angel. As we came to the door, the angel handed you a key. And he said, Robert, you have been given full access to this closet at any time. Pull from it. Bring people to it. This is the time for the nation to be awakened. Now, when I heard that, I thought, oh, neat, an angel gave me a key. I was praying one day, and the Lord said, the key is worship. That's why Micah travels with me. He said, the key is worship. That there is a certain worship that unlocks these dimensions, that lets you allow my people to step into these realms, and in those heavenly realms that, it, that worship has given us entrance to, we can be able to receive the mantling of God. In the dream, instantly, he said we were back at the diner. The manager said to us, don't forget those on the coat rack. They're fresh, and they're ready to wear. He said, then he said this, your son came through the door with a PA system, a pulpit, and your Bible. Your other children followed him with other equipment. They set it up beside the coat rack. There was a line of people farming at the door. We, you and I, noticed that the diner was now three times larger than it was at the beginning of the dream. What a specific you know, dream that this guy had. So when, whenever he shared it with me, I thought, oh, well, that's a pretty neat dream. And then as I began to pray about it, he said, it's not just a neat dream. It's an assignment. I intend for you to do something with it. So we already had a meeting at that time scheduled in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so not knowing exactly what to do, I just said, well, let's just call it receiving mantles from the court of heaven. Now, before the conference actually happened that we had, had scheduled, the Lord spoke to me one day and he said, after this one, just simply call them mantle conferences. Just call them mantle conferences. So we went to North Carolina, and I'm telling you, from the moment we started, the weight of God's glory was in that room. And there was tremendous importations, and we went all the way through uh, from Thursday night, all day, all day Friday, all, you know, until uh, uh, Saturday. And I mean the weight and the glory of God was in the room, and mantles were legitimately imparted.